Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brian for GumballTech.com and in this video I'm going to show you guys Steam for the Mac, the beta. So, I wasn't chosen to be a beta tester for Steam for the Mac, but I was able to find a copy from the Torrent website. If you're interested in trying this out, you can pretty much Google it and you'll be able to find a link. And do not bother me because I will not be giving any links out to this Steam beta because it is supposed to be closed and even if you download it through a torrent there's pretty much nothing you can do because there you can't play any games through the beta unless you're an approved beta tester so I'm gonna go ahead and open Steam for Mac Now before I continue, I'm just going to say that there's absolutely nothing nothing special about Steam for Mac compared to Steam for Windows. All it is is a Windows port of the Windows version of Steam. There's absolutely nothing special about the Mac version. It's the same exact thing as the Windows one. So with that being said, you might as well just install Boot Camp on your Mac because your games are going to play better there anyway. OS X is just not made, or excuse me, OS 10. it's just not made for gaming, and it never will be. So, there aren't going to be very many newer games for OS 10, even when Steam for Mac officially releases. And your game just won't perform as well as it would in Windows. Just OS, Mac OS 10 is just not, there's the display drivers, the graphics drivers, they're just not made very well. If NVIDIA was able to put out Forceware drivers every month or two for OS X, it'd be great. But Apple's making it and it's not very, it just doesn't perform well. I mean, just do benchmarks. Find a OS X benchmarking tool and find the same one for Windows. You'll definitely get a better score in the Windows version. Anyway, here is, oops, here is the Steam for Mac. Here's the main page. There's, if you're on Windows, all you have to do is install the latest Windows beta, and it will look exactly like this, except you'll get a different start page. Um, here's the temporary starting page. If, if I click on this, absolutely, it's just going to refresh the page because I'm not an approved um, closed beta tester, so I can't play Portal, which isn't a big deal because I don't like that game anyway. Um, so at the store, it's just a basic web browser where you can browse through Steam's library of games. Not all games will be Mac compatible right out of the right out of the gate. So if they are, it'll I guess it'll have this little logo. Mainly, they're older games like maybe Counter Strike 1.6 or Counter Strike Source, obviously Portal. Um, oh, I have talked to some people who have been approved for the Steam for Mac beta, and they have played Portal, and they have looked around the files, and they've said that it looks just like a Windows port of the game, which means that it pro it's probably being ran through maybe a wine wrapper, like uh, Trans Gaming, or it may be a cider port, or something similar to that. So, for this at this moment, if you must use Steam on OS X, just run Steam in crossover because it will perform just about the same and it's complete. It's the full version of Steam. And let's just move on with the tour. So here you have the store. The next one will show your library of games. This is basically the only Steam game I've ever purchased. And if I try and install it, it's just going to say it's not available on my platform. Now you can go ahead and add some non-Steam games. Uh, let me see if I can add some of the ones I have. Like... Uh, we'll try Peggle. Because in Windows if you do Shift-Tab it'll bring up the Steam overlay and you'll be able to chat with your friends and change Steam settings and things like that. Let me go ahead and try and play this one really quick. And some games, 
for the Steam Mac beta, the overlay does work, but in this particular game, it doesn't seem to work. I'm going to try and add a few other ones. Assault Cube, I've already tried that one, and it, it doesn't work. I don't think this one will work either. I think World of Goo works. I'll try that one after this. Uh, I guess I won't try Zuma, but... For the last one, I'll try World of Goo. So, as you can see, the overlay doesn't seem to work on World of Goo. Don't know why, don't really care, because I'll... It doesn't really matter. I mean, why should I open Steam to play my game first when I could just open my game and not have to worry about Steam? I only see myself using Steam only if I have to play a game that requires Steam first, like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. So, it's pretty much the same exact thing as the Windows version. Absolutely nothing special about this one. Um, you have your usual settings just like, um, like on Windows. So that was just a quick look at the Steam for Mac beta. Um, there's some rumors going around where it may be released next week, which I guess it would be okay, but... Until then, I guess that's about it, so thanks for watching, leave any comments below, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash be sweet, visit us on the web, gumballtech.com, see you later.